Well, hello everybody. My name is Carl. Welcome back to this flight simulator slash RPG game, Aeronautica. Concurrent players. And let me announce the chat. Right. A day ago, a new update has been released, version 1.99.1. More than a week after the 1.99 and haven't able to record the 1.99 overview. We'll do both for this one. So feel free to pause the video to read the update notes. Most notable being that the registrations are restored to the pre-update 1.98.1 counterpart. So before then, I was November 4 or 5, Oscar November. Now it's restored to November 4 or 5, Sierra November. Like so. All right then. Let's restore the volume bar to one. Let's overhaul the Fokker Dry Decker Eins. Short delay there. Let's teleport to Salem Regional. So what can we choose? The Boeing 707-320B or the Arado R 200 C. Right, let's. <laughs> How about this one? It's, it's a bomber. Late Second World War. While we wait for Salem Regional to load, let's immediately go to the dealership and the the first plane release for version 1.99. It's Los Tipa Caproni. or Caproni Sipa, depending how you read the text on the tail. Aircraft white. Lo Stipa Caproni. Caproni Stipa. Experimental ducted fan test bed. And it's cheap for a single engine aircraft. In purple rarity. Alright then, 
Now let's teleport to Lighthab Air Force Base. The British Aircraft Corporation Tactical Strike Reconnaissance 2. Then to the dealership. Here's the Westland Lynx. Utility helicopter. So in the point one update, the Ledoc Zero Doo Doo, due to its rapture capability in high altitudes, it now loses less fuel while on afterburners, just like the SR-71. Here's the aircraft gray. The Zero Doo Doo. Speaking of which, here is the second newly released aircraft for 1.99. Supermarine Seafire FR Mark 47. The, the naval carrier based variant of the Supermarine Spitfire. The famous British fighter of World War II. Other than the Hurricane. Aircraft gray and aircraft black. The Sea Spitfire. Sea Fire. The FR Mark 47 with the Rolls Royce Griffin engines. And the control rotating propellers. Once again, the, the World War II naval fighter, Sea Fire. It looks better and more detailed when you fly this, but that's it. Let's now teleport to Leavitz International, which will we use the Storchetev Nutsit, the Storchetev S, the Kasim, the Il Devia Nostro Shes. It's not yet been remodeled for. <laughs> Wonder why it takes so long. The An Storchetev Hmm, maybe the Fire Red A330-900. Alright, here's Leavet International. And where is this new aircraft? Third one. The Tupel of Two Store Chetere Bay. The Tupel of T104B. Or T104. Yeah, 2104, T104. Whatever suits you.
There's the Russian blue. We could darken this in, to match the Aeroflot color. And then aircraft gray. Uh, this one here, this is the drogue parachute. You can toggle it with the T key. Other than that, this is the Tuvlum 2 Storcha Terebe, the 2104B. Isn't it the best plane in the world? Will it take you to your death in less than five seconds? Should have been taking the train instead of this. And will it fall from the sky at some given time? We'll find out sooner or later. But for now, let's teleport to Risoros Regional Airport. So let's use the Super Jet 100 to go over here. For the smaller variant, this has been remodeled by Altac and now having access to the advanced livery system. The Tupelo 2 Store Dwatsa Chetire. The Tupelo 2 124. TU 124. Right, it also has the same drogue parachute mechanic. But anyways, this is the the smaller regional variant of the two store The two store what But which variant of the 124? There should be a letter like like A, B, V, D, or G, to indicate it is a regional, long range. Maybe an improved variant, like the the beer variant of the Stokshatire. But anyways, it's just remodeled and uh, Enable the advanced liveries. The Tupelo 2 Stodwatsat Chetire, the Tupelo 2 124, TU 124. Probably like more than 300,000 wings points. Honestly, I don't have a main aircraft, but I try to make as many epic status plays as possible. Let's teleport to Fiskar using one of my planes at Fiskar. Yes, I do have a Tuflo 2 Stone Chetire B. That's for.
So where is the... Alright, here it is. This also has access to advanced liveries. On top of the remodel from previous updates. Let's wait for that to load, and here it is. The Antonov An Sindesya Chotiri. The Antonov An 74. And 74. Shevorashka from the placement of the engines close to the fuselage but not touching <laughs> and that's about it it's... if only added the advanced livery to the Ancidisiatro <laughs> Tiri Then let's teleport to Clarence International for the other one. 757 or the U2A. Couple of Cessnas. All right. The other one having advanced liveries is the extra EA330 single seat <laughs> SC. The single seater aerobatic. What are these metallic wing tips? <laughs> The EA-330, the later variant of the EA-300, of extra aircraft. The next one, it's at Radog International. Choose the Bombardier Global 7500. It's the Nortadio. And here it is the Construcciones Aeronauticas SAA, or the, as well as the Industri Pesawa Terbang Nusantara CN. Doscientos treinta y cinco. The Casa CN two thirty five. As you can see here, this also has access to fast liveries. So aircraft gray. For reference, it should have been darker than this. Should be Casa IPTN, not just 
Picasa. But here it is, the the SAN 235, the CN235. It's probably a Spanish Air Force or Indonesian Air Force, or maybe both. Maybe for other countries as well. All right. So in the update notes, they have also updated the. Where is it? It's at Northaich. Overall, Northaichev. Here it is. The Mikoya Gervich Big Dwatsat Deviat Full Crew. This is using the prototype variant. I guess this is the, the Russian Navy K variant or K variant. How do you want to call the letter K, the Kyrillic K? The map has been updated. You can see some inconsistency here. Yes, there's. You got the picture. <laughs> Should it be here or not? It's... Yes, they had to update the <laughs> UV map for the the big twenty nine K prototype. <laughs> but that's about it. Now let's teleport to Horomoto Air Force Base. Using this flight fortress. And for this one, the Learjet U 36A. For reference, well, this one has the corporate shops removed, as you can see here. But anyways, Kerena Koki desu ne? Where's the door? Should the door be here? All right, it's the E thirty six A, specialized leadership thirty five for the Japanese Self Defense Forces. And this should be a bit more orange. There we go. The E thirty six A. With a few red dots, red circles, Hinomaru, the sun disk. Okay then. Server issues still ongoing, or is it probably due to the Roblox player? Now let's teleport to the new airport, released with version 1.99, the Cygnus Air Olympics field. But before that, here is the second event aircraft, the Panzfove Zakwane Lotice Pesetel Tvishie Tvishi F. Scorpion. The PCL 230F Scorpion. I'm 
It's basically a experimental or prototype fighter bobber. Well, it says here light attack. Here's a bob. You can toggle to make this appear or not with the T key. Like the one in the other door. With that bob on the <laughs> underbelly. It has some terrible range. Moving a high service link, I think it's intended. The Scorpion. The Twisty to the C F. Two thirty F. Now let's move to the vehicle to look at the Cygnus Air Olympics field, which is the resulting airport after the close of the Air Olympics. Oh, uh, China Southern. And it's the uh, 787. Oh, there should be the 787 787-787 from China Southern, or is it is it Vietnam Airlines? I should reread it. But anyways, this is the, the terminal. It's an airfield. Not really a fully functioning airport. It's, you'd say it's like for an airport, it's private airport or, or for charters it is here Air Olympic Village upon an Olympic Village it's part of buildings and houses more apartments and houses and there's an Ethiopian 787 behind the China Southern Also crosser. So we have here the baggage train, fuel trucks for the stairs, a jet bridge, jet stair, the bus, large fuel tanks, all that close to the Cam Cygnus airfield. What do you think? Is this the closest distance? Or is it still um, Ness Aerodrome and um, East Cove Airport? Or possibly Pembroke Plantation and the Dock House? Shortest distance. And speaking of the Pesatel Visitrici F, here is the convertible variant, or should I say the conversion of a so-called fictional plane to this one. Yeah, not of a con not not of a con <laughs> not of a fictional plane, but to the fictional plane here, the Astreus. ADF 230X Folk, or however you want to call it in German, because it uses the um, yeah the GMBF. The Astraeus is a Gesellschaft something. Gesellschaft mit. Should we read it? I can't be at for. Shut up. Right, so. So that you can see the aircraft black, aircraft white. 
So notable differences from the 230F, it's, it's no longer a bomber, it's a, a fighter <laughs> instead of an attack aircraft. So there's the afterburner. You could use the Yeah, oh, yes. Oh, I thought yeah, I think this is not, okay, I think this is the afterburning rocket <laughs> afterburning engines and this should be a a laser beam. And then air to air missiles and bombs. They can be toggled with the Y key. Like what you do with the the F-16. <laughs> the Fighting Falcon. <laughs> you can toggle the either the bombs, missiles or both. Then the TKC afterburner. And that's about it. A fictional aircraft based on some video game or a fighter inspired from a video game. The Folk. The ADF 230X. ADF 230X. Or whatever the German name and scheme is. And that's all for the new aircraft. As well as for the ones that enable the liveries. Oh, this one cannot have advanced liveries too. Alright then. Then one more look at the Air Olympics field. The stage. The Christmas tree. Yes, it's still a Christmas tree. The star is still there. A top <laughs> pie tree with a star. And Cap Cygnus in the foreground. Oh, it's the, uh, that's an Apiatis yacht. A fifty. All right then, let's now teleport to Linwood Regional, not regional, <laughs> municipal airport, because here the job defense have an increased range. Or is it the runway? What does it mean by the... Uh... Start and radius. Whoa, too close to the house. <laughs> for the 1-4 approach. Hmm, what does it mean by Sardan Rages? Is it the... For job events? Is it the... Aviation Club? Probably that. That's about it. This is... Linwood Municipal. No significant changes physically. Now let's teleport to Solata Scrapyard. on the Gulfstream G650ER. The same old scrapyard and the jobs. Well, normally you could you could transport the planes, but after the previous update, or updates, they have removed the transport jobs, 
but now they're back. And the capacity, or maximum capacity, has been restored back to the 26 instead of the 150 when the transfers were disabled. So, the Gulfstream, it's 40 capacity. So, you can allow the. It's able to do the scrapyard tourism job event as an enhanced transport flight. But for this one, the YC 14, it has 38 capacity. It's above the maximum, so there shouldn't be any jobs. Like so. And that is a lot of scrapyard. Now let's teleport to Oakport. We can choose the Metroliner, the 767-300F Rosalind, or the A330-200F. We'll choose the 767. And here is Oakport Airport. So the only fixes are the taxiways and the ground markings. That's a Stratocruiser. The apron. The cargo terminal and apron. Or for larger aircraft like the 747. And there's for general aviation and the ground markings. All right, what are the significant change to the ground markings and our taxiway? Now look at the rain. <laughs> Off. And on. All right, here is Oakport Airport. 
rain, no rain, one half of Oakport is raining, the other half isn't raining, and finally, oh, I, <laughs> did I say finally? There's a, there's at least two more changes. So let's teleport to Kitesboro. How long will this issue end? Game wise. Alright, so in Kitesboro, the change is regarding the hold points. ATC. Oops, water. Alright, so runway ahead approach line. Gap. There's a gap. There's a gap here. This doesn't. A gap. Gap. A gap. No gap. A bit of a gap. This one has no gaps. And the one closest to 3 4. Bit of a gap. Yes, there's a bit of a gap here. And uh, there's a taking off of a total of two store check and that's it. Alright then, that's Kaispor International Airport. Well, I don't think there's any difference here, but I guess it's just how parallel it is to the runway. that the fix? These were parallel to the runway, now it's uh, perpendicular to the <laughs> respective taxiways. And finally, let's now teleport to Altac International. Is it Altac or ITAC? Because the inspiration for Altac International is the old Hong Kong Hightac. So let's teleport to this 777F, 78710, or the Concorde. We'll just 777F. Alright, so the changes to this format are the fuel trucks, and then the ground collisions. That's an Airbus A330-900. And the livery is, uh, oh, <laughs> that's the only one of two, or is it one of three? Cebu Pacific, 5J. <laughs> and 
It's parking at the terminal A, or uh, gate A. Should have opened my chart for this. Let's al will it align with the uh, jet bridge. It did. <laughs> Great. <laughs> All right, so once again, the changes to, or should I say, the minor change to Altec International Airport are the fuel trucks and the ground collision. Is it the lights? <laughs> the ground collision lights? Or. Alright, so fuel truck number one, two. There's three. This is a four. Five. Yeah, five. And on tar the apron, six, seven. Eight. Yeah, there's, there's, there's at least eight field trucks. They, you could, you could refuel your plane when you park them. When you park in here. Yeah, so you can refuel while parking. And that's about it. This is the overview of the updates of versions 1.99 and 1.99.1. Oh, there's also the sunset. So the sun should be setting on the true east. No, <laughs> yeah, the sun should be rising on the true east and um, setting on the true west. So it's like relative to the position of your camera. And with that, we're going to enjoy the sunset here at Altac International Airport, or should I say Pseudo Kai Tak. What's this A380? So colorful. Pan Air. All right, the sun is about to set. There's a TBM landing on the Kai Tak approach, 3-6. Right, 17-17, it's 5-17 p.m. The A3, they're about to dock. That's a 747-200 spawning at the apron. And live here at Altec or at Yong Hong, let's close the video with the sunset on the relative west. With that, see you on the next Aeronautica video. Sai Chen.